Yeah, my name is Holm. I'm consultant psychiatrist and editor of Global Psychiatry Archives, and I would like to give some ideas or the main ideas of a paper by Kirchner um, called Administration of Methylphenidate Improved Sex Hypersexual Behavior in a 22-Year-Old Woman with ADHD Case Report. So um, this patient is a patient who has a long history of mental health problems uh, related to ADHD, which started in the school and later continued. She was admitted to hospital and um, she had been treated with methylphenidate. As you might be aware, um, you might be aware that ADHD is usually treated with methylphenidate and other medications. Um, however, hypersexual behavior has never been treated with methylphenidate or amphetamines. Uh, it has been treated with SSRIs, nefazodone, topiramate, and naltrexone, but as I said, not with methylphenidate. And this patient was very active when she was admitted to the hospital. You can see this here. She reported symptoms of tension, impulsivity, low frustration tolerance, outburst of anger. And to regulate these, she beat herself up, took the tablets of acetaminophen, and uh, engaged in risky driving, increased her sexual activity with changing partners, partially unprotected and at unusual places. And her sexual urge was experienced as stressful and was not pleasant. Um, she had mood swings and uh, had a history of uh, suicide attempt. Um, she was in hospital for a while, started with ADHD uh, medication. Methylphenidat was admitted to hospital, readmitted later. But the uh, gist, more or less, is that uh, she reported after the uh, second discharge that when she had started methylphenidat, her hypersexual behavior has reduced, as well as certainly her ADHD behavior, but more or less the um, random finding is that on top of her ADHD symptoms, she also reduced her hypersexual behavior and felt better on that. And the question now is, is it just the medication in for ADHD? Or is it something which might be tried uh, in general for people who have unpleasant hypersexual urges and feelings? Um, if you're interested to see more of these short reports, then subscribe to our channel, Global Psychiatry Archives. And if you want to read this paper, please go to the journal website, www.globalpsychiatry.co.uk. Thanks for your interest.